Ladies and gentlemen, Check, please. Uh, can anybody have a scuba tank? Seen a van on the side of the road. Must have been 16,000 years old. Well, yeah, so I, I just went out on my jet ski solo. Um, I had my jet ski, I had a 9.2 and a 9.9 on my sled behind, and then there are these two uh, Maverick uh, local kids with me also. And all of us were trying to get in the contest, so we just jumped out there to, to get out and surf and feel it and just hope, really the whole point was just to try to get in the comp, but to get a few ways before. Since it was a little bit wind swelly and shifty, there's just these big wash through bombs coming in. And you really want to make it around those because Totos just loves to drag you all the way inside. It's just this whole mission ordeal. <laughs> and right then, the superboat pulls up of all my heroes, Dorian, Twiggy, Healy, Mike Parsons, Greg and Rusty Long, Cole Christensen, like the guys. And at that time, of course, the bomb set comes in, the Hail Mary. And this thing was white watering out the back, and so, oh, it's gonna be one of those washers. And so I went for the paddle around, and that put me in the perfect position to either get up and over it or whip it at the last second. And I hear all of those guys going, go, go, go. So there was no questioning, like, I had to go. You know, my heroes are in the boat, it's the wave, like, how did I end up in this situation? <laughs> So I flipped it, got like two strokes in, and just tried to set my edge in my 9-2 as much as possible because the wave was so steep and I couldn't see the bottom. I think I got on my board for maybe two or three seconds, and then I hit the double up bump and just went ass over tea kettle upside down and dropped, like free fell in there for a couple feet, landed, and I was like, oh, that hurt, but I didn't penetrate. And then I did the spin up and over, and my feet were in the lip and my head was in the barrel. And then I went over again and really hit. And it felt like somebody just kicked me in the chest when I landed. I was all, oh, underwater. Like, oh, that didn't feel good. And then to top it all off, all of a sudden my whole right arm went numb. My fingers, my arm, everything. And I'm underwater, knocked out of breath, thinking that I think I might be paralyzed. I think, I'm like underwater moving in the washing machine going, What's life going to be like paralyzed? Come up, one arm it, and there's three waves after. And I just take them all, and it pushes me all the way into the rock. I still have no feeling in my arm. And a jet ski pulls up. They're like, uh, you want some help? And I look. My board's broken. My arm's not moving. I'm looking at the guy like, do I want some help? Did you see what just happened? <laughs> yeah, get me on that thing. Get on, and like slowly, each finger started tingling, and the feeling started coming back in my hand, and this kind of aching pain came back. And all of a sudden, I sit there, and I coughed. And when I coughed, it went into my hand. I looked down, and there's blood in my hand. I mean, I, that, that's not good. I'm not supposed to cough blood. So I, then I coughed and spit and put a huge chunk of blood in my hand. I'm sitting there just tripping out. In the last, like, five minutes, I thought I was paralyzed. I was going to be paralyzed the rest of my life. Now I'm spitting blood in my hand. We're going back over the boat. And I couldn't see right. I just saw, like, these white lines. My eyes were going over, and one of my good friends, Wassel, was on the boat, and he's Mr. Life Crest. I'm all, Wassel, I'm all, dude, my, my arm went numb, and now it aches really bad. I'm, all, I'm coughing up blood. Like, I can barely see you. What happened? He's all, well, first of all, I don't even know what you were thinking on that wave. And in the back of my head, I'm like, what do you mean what I was thinking? You're the one who told me to go. <laughs> He's all, ah, you're all good. I think you just ruptured some blood vessels in your lung. You'll be fine. And uh, you know, if that aching doesn't go away and your fingers you know, go back to feeling numb or something, like, let me know. But uh, probably sit it out for a little bit and maybe try and get one more before the uh, contest starts. <laughs> so I sit there and I'm all fuzzy, disoriented, going like, did that really just happen? And I had my 9-9 nine -nine still. I'm like, you know what, I have to go back out and just at least get the jitters off so I'm not tripping on this wipeout for a long time. I'm paddling back over. Dorian starts paddling out for his warm-up session. He looks at me and he's like, yeah, that's about as close to impossible as you can get. 
And so here's me, like my heroes on the boat. I'm replaying this in my mind. Them saying, go, go, go. I'm like, are they serious right now? And I go and all this happens. And then they're telling me like, you idiot. <laughs> I can't believe you actually went on that thing. <laughs> it's like, come on. So lesson learned, when those guys say go, eh, I probably shouldn't go. <laughs> seen an alien in my house. It was the size of a mouse. Speak, speak. Aliens are everywhere. Aliens in my air. Turn into